sorry, I can hear an ambulance in the distance. Um, hi friends, it's Deanna Williston with our Blooming Catholic Life. We're here again at week 15. This is Wednesday, midweek check-in for our Lexio Divina. We do them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week at 7 p.m. It's going to be the same scripture verses those three days, but with a different focus. On Monday, we're really hearing a call to action as we meditate on Wednesday. We're kind of evaluating, doing a little examine on that um, and, and coming up with a prayer, how we can really live that, seeing if we maybe we need to adjust something in our life to really make that call fulfilled in our lives. And then on Friday, we come back and we give thanks for any movement of the Lord has had in our life. So it's second Paralopomenon or second Chronicles, second the things left out, chapter 29, verses 30 and 31. So it's a very short scripture this week. Um, but I was really moved to think of really the, the key themes for me this week were uh, worshiping with family as well as the Psalms. So I, I don't know. I don't know. How's that work for you? I don't know what you got from it. That's what I got from it. Um, maybe I'll even do, do a little like Bible journaling on the Psalms and put some up. I've been working on some songs. But it might be nice to put up, come up with, you know, what is my favorite psalm? Oh, would that be a fun dinner conversation tonight? Wouldn't that be? <laughs> Surprise, guys. Um, but also, you know, to put up a little little plaque. Oh, that would be really interesting to do. For Lexio Divina, when we're doing it this way over a week, you know, they make those photo frames where you put children's artwork in and you change the artwork every week or you could just have a bulletin board or a place that you prop it up it'd be interesting to have something from the Lexio Divina up every week in the house to share with the family um, if you're doing this as a group um, you could absolutely have everybody write things on it oh that'd be really fun like a little poster board for every week, or even if it's a dry erase board, dry erase board people could come and add to it throughout the week. So this could be especially fun if you have littles or people who like to draw. But even if your family is disconnected, everybody's going to different practices or there are adults coming and going to work, it could be a way to connect throughout the week. So that theme of family is really coming through to me. Have that dry erase board up, have the scripture reading and people can just jot a note on it as they go by and about their week. Um, and then you can check in and see it. So it's a way to, to connect with each other. I'm really loving that idea. Um, grab your journal. Are you ready, friends? In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Sume glorioso Deus, illumina tenebras cordis mehi, et da mihi fidem rectum, spem certain et caritatem perfectum, Domini ut facium tuum sanctum et verax mandatum. Amen. And Ezekiel and the princes commanded the Levites to praise the Lord with the words of David and Asaph the seer, and they praised him with great joy, and bowing the knee, adored. And Ezekiel added and said, You have filled your hands to the Lord. Come and offer victims and praises in the house of the Lord. And all the multitude offered victims and praises and holocausts with a devout mind. And Ezekiel and the princes commanded the Levites to praise the Lord with the words of David and Asaph the seer. And they praised him with great joy and bowing the knee adored. And Ezekiel added and said, You have filled your hands to the Lord. Come and offer victims and praises in the house of the Lord. And all the multitude offered victims and praises and holocausts with a devout mind. This is just such an interesting model for me as a Franciscan, how to renew the church. Exactly what St. Francis did. First, he physically rebuilt the church, right? And then he kind of started going to the, the leaders of the town 
in a way. He was an example to them. And, you know, refuting his dad in the public square. It was very public what he was doing. And then the little people, the, the townspeople started coming to him one by one. It's just, just an interesting model that it's repeated throughout history. How is this working out in your parish life, in your family life? And Ezekiel and the princes commanded the Levites to praise the Lord with the words of David and Asaph the seer. And they praised him with great joy and bowing the knee, adored. And Ezekiel added and said, You have filled your hands to the Lord. Come and offer victims and praises in the house of the Lord. And all the multitude offered victims and praises and holocausts with a devout mind. And Ezekiel and the princess commanded the Levites to praise the Lord with the words of David and Asaph the seer. And they praised him with great joy and bowing the knee adored. And Ezekiel added and said, You have filled your hands to the Lord. Come and offer victims and praises in the house of the Lord. And all the multitude offered victims and praises and holocausts with a devout mind. Hmm. This is just such, such a chapter of revival. It's just so encouraging. Let us end with our blessing. Benedicat tibi dominus et custodia te, ostendat dominus facium sum tibi et miserator tui, convertat dominus voltum sum ad te, et dominus bonus det tibi pacem. Amen. In nomine Patris, Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.